Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Jessica and welcome to another thrifting video. So I happen to go to three thrift stores today. I just got back. I only found one thing today, but it's something that I absolutely love and I will show you how I used it in my home at the end of the video. I also had a donation that I wanted to drop off before I went into the store and today I'm donating my ladder shelf and also a basket that I wasn't using anymore. The first store that I'm going to take you into today is the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Right when I walked in the door I saw this really cool gumball machine and it was $95 but everything with a green tag was 40% off. So the restores in my area have just recently opened back up and I wanted to check out their lighting section because I have been looking for a new light fixture to put over my dining room table for a while now. All of their lighting happened to be an extra 20% off. So I wanted to check out their selection. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything that I absolutely loved. I did find this piece right here. It was kind of what I was looking for, but not quite. So I'll just continue the hunt. And as you can see, their prices are pretty good, especially when you compare them to buying light fixtures brand new. They can be really expensive if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's. So after I got done looking at all of the lighting, I happened to quickly walk into the home decor section just to see if I could find anything interesting. So now I'm in Goodwill and I'm going to walk around the home decor section to see if I can find anything that I want for my home. I'll also show you anything interesting that I come across while I'm shopping. And also let me know what your favorite item was on today's thrifting trip. I always love reading everybody's answers down in the comments section.
The last item that I wanted to share with you in Goodwill before I go into the next store is this beautiful armoire cabinet. If I had a place for this, I probably would have taken this home. I thought it was a great deal. It was only $49.99. It did have some issues with the door not staying closed, but I think it could have been an easy fix. So right when I walked into the last thrift store of the day, I was greeted by the Property Brothers. I thought these little gnomes were hilarious. The Property Brothers show is probably one of my favorite shows to watch. And I also love the show Love It or List It. So if you're looking for some good shows to watch, I think both of those are streaming on Hulu. I'm pretty sure this piece right here is uranium glass, but I wasn't 100% sure. I did think it was gorgeous, but I did leave it behind for someone else to discover. So I'm pretty sure somebody just donated their entire Garfield collection. I came across a ton of these McDonald's Garfield glasses. They were $2 a piece and they were scattered between three different shelves and there were a lot of multiples of the same one. And the last item that I wanted to share with you before I show you what I purchased is this giant stuffed Garfield. So I'm not a Garfield collector, but I did love Garfield as a kid growing up. I didn't find a price on this, but the original retail sticker was $129 for this. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I only found one item on today's thrifting trip, but it's something that I absolutely love. So the item that I found was in the last thrift store and I happened to be looking on one of the bottom shelves and something caught my eye. I wasn't sure what it was, but I quickly realized it was a really beautiful vintage jewelry box. It was only $3.99 and I knew exactly where I was going to use this. When I saw the colors and especially the green lining inside, I knew it would be perfect for my Marilyn Monroe Hollywood inspired bedroom theme. So I decided to put it on top of my dresser here. I also have some other thrifted finds on top as well. And here's what it looks like opened. Inside of the jewelry box, I just have a vintage bracelet and I also have a strand of pearls that are my daughter Hannah's. I just absolutely love this piece. I think it completes the display. And I do have a tour of this room that I will link down in the description box in case you wanna see the whole room as a whole. And I also wanted to quickly show you the brass hook that I found in my last thrifting video. I decided to put it here on the corner of my mirror and I hung some thrifted purses that I have found on it. And I think it looks kinda cool just kinda draping over the mirror here. So I thought I would share that with you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's thrifting video. I hope it inspires you to go thrifting because you never know what you're going to find. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.